Good morning. All right, you guys, I want to show y'all something. Something in the yard again. Now, it's not the creature that we had on the camera. Well, actually, I don't know. But anyways, okay, so I noticed these in the yard yesterday and I thought there was only one, but Seth and Joe said there was another one on the other part of the yard. So we're gonna go look and see. There's actually two of them. Let's go. So have y'all ever seen these before? So I've only seen them on rare occasions. It's been several years since I've seen one, but they're called fairy rings. And I looked them up and they're associated with evil things like um, cultures, like for thousands of years said they, they're they like related to some mystical, supernatural type thing. Um, and when I looked it up, like different cultures, such as like European cultures, were calling them fairy rings. They're like dwelling places of fairies, elves, witches, like other magical beings. And in some cases, they're dangerous to like enter. And on Dutch traditions, it says like if livestock were to enter the center, they would have like soured milk. Australian legends, they claim that these fairy rings were the work of dragons that burned them in the ground with their fiery tails. Welsh traditions say that there'll be unfortunate consequences if humans enter them. There's a lot of different little folklore and myths that go along with these things. Do I want to enter the center? I don't know. I've had a lot of bad luck here lately. I wouldn't really call it luck, but I think I'll stay out. Um, but to bring in some factual information about these things, they're really pattern types of certain mushrooms. They grow in like circular formations. They're naturally occurring phenomenon that usually appears year after year. You know, they can appear in lawns, forests, fields. But these fairy rings occur, they say, when like a mushroom spore falls in a favorable spot and it grows a mycelium. It's like a vegetated part of the fungus. And it spreads like an underground network, a fine like, like these tubular threads. So mushroom caps then appear at the edges of this network. And in these formations, they continue to expand outward and they use all the nutrients within them as they grow. So it's pretty cool. There's lots of other things you can read about them as far as like getting into like the myths and the folklore and stuff. Y'all can check it out, but we have had a lot of rain, a lot. Usually they appear in the fall, but because we've had so much rain this summer, they're appearing here. So I believe that has one, I believe that's one of the culprits as to why they come. A lot, a lot of wet, damp conditions, you know. But why they appear in a circle is just so fascinating. Now here's the other one. Look at that. That one's like got a clump of six together. See those? Cool. Now some say the mushrooms are considered edible, but it said definitely proceed with caution. That's with any mushroom. All right, just thought I'd share that with y'all. All right, hope y'all enjoyed.